So, quick update on the Jim Valley fundraiser. I think yesterday when we did the show, we were at $29,000. Today, we are at $39,000. Another $10,000 raised yesterday. So, not bad. Not bad at all, I would say, for a fundraiser that we initially were planning on raising $5,000. And now here we are at almost $40,000. So can't thank everybody enough for all their donations. Keep it up, everybody. We really appreciate it. There's no upper limit. And as noted, Jim Valley has been in the ICU for six weeks now. And it's probably going to be, I don't even know. I can't even predict. But, I mean, it's not going to be tomorrow he's going home. It's not going to be the day after. So it could be quite a ways down the road. It's taking him a long time to heal. And so every little bit counts. I'm talking the people that donated $5, people that donated a dollar. I mean, we appreciate every single bit of it. So thank you so much again. And that is the update on the Jim Valley fundraiser. All righty. So Ra, the new member, the new leader, we believe, of Retribution. I mean, technically it's not official yet, but it seems abundantly clear that the new leader of Retribution is Ali. As I know it, I love it. I think Ali is great. I think that making him the leader of retribution, you can't just forget about the guy. You can't just not remember what you're doing with him. You can't just send him back to main event. I mean, if you want to break them up, if you want to have them all beat up the guy and that's the end of Ali, I mean, you can do that. But barring an actual storyline, I mean, he will not be forgotten. He's part of the show now. He is Buddy Murphy as Seth Rollins' disciple. So I like it. I think he'll do great. I think he's a great interview. You know, nothing against, as he was referred to last night, T-Bag and the rest of them. But I think that Ali will be the superior talker, and it'll be good to have him out there as the leader of a new group. Now, it appears that that would mean that they're feuding with the Hurt Business. So I don't know if that means that uh, Retribution is now a babyface crew. I don't know if the Hurt Business is turning babyface. It doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll have a compelling heel versus heel stable program. I guess we'll find out soon, but there you go. And we'll see if the draft has anything to do with any of this as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of this if you wanted to pick it apart. And we have that it's very easy to do. But at the end of the day, I think everybody likes Ali for the most part. I mean, everybody likes Donovan Dijak or Dijakovic and... I don't know what the status of Mia Yim in this group is going to be or or Mercedes Martinez or anybody else, but everybody likes them. You know, Dio Madden, at least nobody's got anything negative to say about them. I, I, these are guys who are just looking for a shot that have been handed something that on paper sucks, at least seemingly so far. I mean, I'm sorry, it, it has not worked at all for me. And the presentation of it, I think, has been just so completely ridiculous, but... The people that are playing these characters all really, you know, I don't know if they deserve a shot, but they're all ready for a shot on the main roster. And Ali can talk, and he's got a presence, and he's got a good story in uh, his real life that has got him to this point. And hopefully whatever happens, uh, they're able to meld this into the show and make it a a good functional part of the show and not as ridiculous as it's been. I don't know why these guys look the way they do. They're going to have to explain that, why, how they're going to tie in Ali as the hacker and Ali doing the, the, the gimmick he was doing before and tying it into what Retribution's goals are. You know, they still have to dot those I's and cross those T's. But we'll see what happens. Well, they don't have to. I mean, this they is don't WWE have to. And you know about. what? They may not, but since I'm trying to put a positive spin on this, let's look at it as, okay, here is the fresh coat of paint. Any of the, the goofy lead up to this all goes in and is out the way now. You know, what are you? And, and from here, we can see how they play them as a – because they're going to have to be a unit all on their own. You know, to me, it's like – this is you started trying to tear the place down. You can't just go after the hurt business. This can't just be about them. And then you move into just random tag team feuds against other people like members of retribution face. They, they've got to do more with this for how they presented it as being the, the group that wants to to rip everything down. 
You know, it, it, let's. It will be interesting to see how they put where they put Dijak and where they and how they put Ali into bigger situations and into more impactful situations. Because again, if this whole thing is just to bring them into the mid card, then what what was really the point of it? Well, you're right, but they can just feud with the hurt business because this fella here sent me the following stat everyone last night i noted that this apollo cruise hurt business deal felt like groundhog day well apollo cruise has faced members of the hurt business in 15 consecutive matches from june 15th through last night he has not faced anybody else from uh, june 15th until last night he has only wrestled members of the hurt business he has that is an astounding stat but that 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 that, and i saw sean ross sap post that last night but the reality is is that's not an excuse for retribution to only wrestle the hurt business because there's an example of why they shouldn't do that on top of the fact that they want to tear down the company and they've already been moved away from people like Keith Lee and Randy Orton and those types of like that. They're away from them already. You know, that's not a good sign. That's that it's just not a good sign. So for them to just get into a deal with, with, uh, with the her business, when that doesn't even make any sense when they seemingly have 75 members, how many people have we seen dress in black? Like, is that ever going to be explained as to, why the group was so large and now has shrunken down to only a few people. You know, if that's, it it will be, again, they have a lot to go through when it comes to this group and trying to, to move the thing forward here. I just hope that they do so. And just wrestling the Hurt Business over and over again doesn't help anybody. And in fact, it's really stupid for the Hurt Business because they're all main event level characters. At least as a group, they're main event level characters. MVP's mouth certainly is. Bobby Lashley's look is, and Bobby Lashley is still somebody that I would assume is going to try to at least, or they're going to try to get him to some higher heights here, you know, by WrestleMania for sure.